First of all, congratulations, Mickey, on, on the new contract. What does it mean to you? Oh, it's, it's a lot. It means a lot. Obviously, um, I think everyone can see that I'm enjoying myself here at the moment. And it just gives me another chance to, to carry on doing that. Obviously, it's nice to to extend my contract. I'm looking forward to what what's next to come. When you arrived in, in the summer, can you believe where you are now in the middle of February? What's gone on? Uh, probably not. Obviously... Where I was for where I was at Newport for seven years, it may have taken me a little bit of time to see what see how it goes into a new a new club. And but to be fair, the lads settled me in rapidly. The gaffer and the coaching staff welcomed me in with open arms, and I think my performances have shown that I'm I'm enjoying it here and um, and I have settled in. And obviously the the club have rewarded me with that. Not quite sure whether you were aware of it, but last weekend against Harrogate, I think it was your five hundredth start. Was it? No, I didn't know that. I knew um, I'd. How does that mean probably, to, to Yeah, it's before. nice. Obviously, I've. I know I hit my sixth hundredth appearance mm. um, this earlier this season. So obviously, to have five hundred of them as starts is obviously in the career that I've had. It's a nice one to um, to hit, and hopefully, touch wood that uh, that will continue to rise. And on the signing of the, of the new contract, do you still feel there's more to come from, from you? As yeah, the definitely. Look, I still feel like I've got. Plenty more games in me. Um, look, it's, I want to be playing as long as I can, really. That's my, my biggest aim. And at the moment, I feel comfortable doing that. And then obviously the club feel that as well, which is why they've given me that new contract. And your longevity in the game, you know, it's, it's taken you to a, a lot of places and a, and a few clubs. What do you make of crew? It's, I've been lucky with the clubs that I've been. They've been really family orientated, fan, community based and stuff like that. And that's no different here. I feel as soon as I came in, I could I could see that. Obviously, there's been a lot of good young players that have come through the the nurture there to to help improve players in here and the family orientated club as it is. It's um, it really welcomed everyone in. I think you can see that with the way the lads that have come in in January have settled in really well, and that's obviously to do with the changing room, the staff, and obviously the fans as well. They welcome them in straight away. And, uh, and it's the same as what it's been here. I was lucky with that at Newport for doing it so long and now I just feel like I'm at home here as well. Over the, few, over the years that have gone by, the likes of Paul Green, Chris Porter, Nicky Young, people like that, experienced in the game, have come to this football club and have said they've improved the, the, their own performances. Do, do you feel that's done, done you Yeah, as well? I do. I, I feel like you, you're always learning in football. You, you're never a finished article and um, for me to come here, I've, I feel like I have improved as well. So that's uh, it's a... Like you say, it's 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 a good thing. I, I, that's, it means I'm I'm enjoying my football. If I'm improving, and I'm enjoying my football, and my performances are showing that, and I just want to keep doing that. Just yeah, to, we've talked uh, again to to people, uh, and how important is it that everything is settled in, in your life as well? Your family, your, your missus, the kids. Yeah, that's the most important thing. At the end of the day, my family is the most important thing to me. Football will always come second to that, and um, as long as they're settled and in, enjoying themselves, then that means I can. Be, Play, play football as well as I can do at the moment. So as long as that continues, uh, I don't see it changing. you become a firm fan's favourite as well. Well, it's nice to hear. Look, I'll let them decide that one. Um, I'll let them be the judge of that. And I, you can see I give everything out there. I'll always engage with the fans. I think that's the most important thing. If, it's, if it makes a, a 10, 15 second conversation with a fan after the game, or is it a 10 minute conversation with a fan after the game, if it puts a smile on their kid's face for two days and then it makes it all worth it and I've had a lot of messages since obviously the news broke yesterday and, and it's nice to see it must be it means I'm doing something right and um, hopefully that can continue. Well the manager's confirmed unfortunately for, for Luke Offord that he's got a serious injury that's going to probably curtail his, his season but he's confirmed that you will wear the armband you will take over as, as the captain first of all will we think, talk about that just a word on what's happening. Yeah I'm absolutely gutted for him to be fair I think you probably knew that it was going to be something serious because he doesn't stay down. So for here, as soon as he hit the floor, I heard him have a little yelp of um, of pain. So as soon as that happened, you realise this could be something wrong. But it just shows his character that he tried to get up and play on. He went for a jog down the touchline. And he's just when he realised what he's done, it's like how has he even managed to do that? And um, but no, it's gutted because he's a massive player for us. He's a massive character in the change room, but he still will be. Whether that's he's not on the pitch, but he's still at the end of the day, like I said, he's he's our captain of the football club, and um, we'll all get round him. We're getting through his rehab, and he'll be just doing he'll be cheering from the sidelines instead of on the pitch this time. So no, yeah, we're we're all gutted for him. 
we'll all get him through and hopefully we'll be seeing him soon. And for you to be pulling on the old band, is that another honour? Yeah, it's an honour, yeah, it's another honour. Obviously, I was lucky enough to do it with Newport a couple of times, so look, I, I can handle that one. Um, but that we've got, it's not just me, there's a lot of captains in that dressing room. I think a successful side has more than one leader and we, we have about seven or eight out in there that, and even the younger lads, if you gave them the armband, they're doing just as justice as, as Luke did as well. Just to finally sum it all up in terms of this weekend, it's Notts County away, it's heavily congested in your league mm. where, where, where the points situation is very tight, but again, you're right in the mix at the business end of the season for one or the other, playoffs or automatic. Yeah, it's like, like you say, it's Notts County on a little bit of form, so are we. So it should be a good, it should be a good game. It'll be interesting. Obviously, it was a, a very tight game. It was decided in the 94th minute at home. So look, if if it happens like that again, then yeah, we'll be we'll be happy as long as we're on the end of the three points. So it's a massive game. Like you said, it's tight. The teams that are 14, 15 can still make it in there. Anyone can make it into the automatics at the moment. But look, we take one game as it comes. The uh, the the old saying of you can't look too far ahead of yourselves because then that's when you get distracted.